Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n. This same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. That is here, this same thing as a raised to the power x over 8 squared equals to 48 from here. Okay. Yeah, this is the same thing as 8 raised to the power x over 8 square 8 times 8, that's 64. Then equals to, we can write this as 48 over 1. Then next step here, we cross multiply. That is, yeah, we have 8 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 8 raised to the power x equals to 48 times 64. Then next step here, we take the log on both sides. Uh, this here we have log a raised to power x equals to log 48 times 64 here. Yeah. Then from here, we apply the power of logarithm here. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. At this here, we have x log 8 equals to log 48 times 64 here. Then from here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. That is, here, log 8 cancelled each other. We have x equals to log 48 times 64 over log 8. Then, here this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. At this here, we have x equals to log 48 plus log 64 over log 8. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8. Then from here, we can rewrite 64 as 8 times 8, that's 8 squared. What we have becomes x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus log 8 square over log 8. Then we apply the power of logarithm here. 2 comes here, and we have becomes x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8. Then here we have log 8 cancel each other. And 2 left here, that is x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus 2. Then also, next step here, we can express 48 as 8 times 6. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 6 over log 8 plus 2. Then here, yeah, this also follows the law of logarithm. And we have x equals to log 8 plus log 6 over log 8 plus 2. That is, we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 
plus log 6 over log 8 plus 2. Then, also from here, we have log 8 cancel each other. We have one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus 2 plus log 6 over log 8. Then, this becomes x equals to 1 plus 2, that's 3, plus log 6 over log 8. And also here, we can write 6 as 2 times 3, which implies what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 times 3 over log 8. Then this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 8. Then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8. Then here, yeah, also, we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 2 cubed plus log 3 over log 2 cubed. And we apply the power of logarithm here. 3 comes here and also here. And we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 3 over 3 log 2. Then here we have log 2 cancel each other. 1 over 3 left here. That is x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 plus here we can write this as 1 over 3 times log 2 log 3 over log 2 that is here we have 3 plus 1 over 3 the same thing as 3 number 1 over 3 the same thing as 10 over 3 that is we have x equals to 10 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2. Then here also, we can apply change of base. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 10 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2. Then we bring this together as 1, and we have x equals to the SCM here that's 3. This gives us 10, then plus log 3 base 2. That is, the value of x here we have 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. That is how we have here becomes 8 raised to power 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3, the minus 2 here. Is it equals to 48 on this side? At this here, we can bring this part together as one, well, which implies here yeah, we have 2 over 1. Where it becomes 8 raised to power SCM here as 3. Here we have 10 plus log 3 is 2 minus 6 here now. Is it equals to 48 from here? 
That is here we have 10 minus 6. That's 4. That's 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 raised to over 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Then here we can write 8 as 2 raised to the power 3, which is raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? And here, this power multiplies and 3 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 is 2. Is it equals to 48 from here? Then here, this 4 is log means this is what we have. A raised to the power n plus n. We do the same thing as A raised to the power n times A raised to the power n. Then here, we have 2 raised to the power 4 times 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 48 on this side? And 2 raised to the power 4, 2 multiply is 4 times that is 16 times. Here follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. This same thing as 3. This is equals to 48 from here. And of course, 16 times 3 gives us 48, which is equals to 48 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.